My name is Bervalyn. I work at uh, Nordate Clinic. I am a RN. Um, I'm here to assess uh, Mr. Emmanuel, who's here to see the doctor. Mr. Emmanuel is a 25-year-old male. He has not seen the doctor in a year. Mr. Emmanuel has a history of high blood pressure. Mr. Emmanuel um, came to see the doctor because he was feeling uh, blood vision and also was having headache. I took his vital signs. Um, his blood pressure was 190 over 92. His pulse was on, uh, 90. His respiration 20. His um, temperature 98, 98.4. Uh, his respiration 20. Um, his O2 sat 98% on room air. Uh, also, Mr. Emmanuel has a pain of 5 on a scale of 0 to 5, a headache. Now, his headache is 5. Uh, now, I'm going to come in to see Mr. Emmanuel uh, so I can do his assessment before he see the physician. Good afternoon, Mr. Emanuel. How are you today? I'm good. My name is Bervalyn. I'm going to be the nurse who's going to do assessment before the doctor see you, okay? All right. Before we continue, I'm going to ask you some questions so I can make sure that you're um, the right person, okay? Okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, the date, your date of birth? Um, April 25th, 1994. Okay. Do you know the day for today? Um, it is the 29th of June. Okay. Uh, the year, do you know the year? Um, 2019. Okay. As uh, we can see, Mr. Emmanuel is alert oriented times three. He knows the date, he knows his birthday, he knows the year. Uh, do you know where you are? Um, at the clinic for a checkup. Okay, he's here at the clinic. And Mr. Emmanuel is fully alert oriented. Um, to start the head to toe assessment, I'm gonna start by checking Mr. Emmanuel's head, um, go down all the way to his feet. Okay, I'm gonna start with your head. Okay, Mr. Manu, you give me permission so I can do your assessment? Yep. Okay, all right. To start, I'm gonna check your head. Okay. To see if you have any lumps on your head. Okay. I don't see no lumps on Mr. Manu's head. Uh, his head is round and then normal cephalic. Um, his hair is nice and thick. His scalp is nice and moist, not dry. Um, his skin is good. Okay, so I'm going to go down to Mr. Emmanuel's face. Uh, I can see his eyebrow, they are symmetrical. They are nicely done. Um, let me look at his eyes. I'm going to use my pen light, okay, Mr. Emmanuel? When I use my pen light, you're going to follow the pen light, okay? okay. With your eyes. Okay. Can you follow? Okay. I'm gonna look at Mr. Emmanuel's eyes to see if he's reactive to the light. Okay, his light is reactive to the light. Okay, light is reactive to the light. I'm looking at Mr. Emmanuel's conjunctiva. It's clear. And then uh, the outer part of it is nice, pink and moist. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to Mr. Emmanuel's nose. As I can see, Mr. Emmanuel's nose is um, proportionate, is um, no deviated septum. I'm gonna look inside the nose. Okay, I don't see no drainage or redness. Um, you're gonna let me know if you feel any pressure. Okay, I'm gonna press. Do you feel any pressure? Okay, he doesn't have any pressure when I press his nose. Okay, I'm gonna look at his mouth. Okay, open for me. Say, ah. So, okay, pull out your tongue. Okay, this tongue is um, pink, and inside his mouth is nice pink and moist. And then I can see his teeth very healthy. His gums are nice and pink. Um, I'm gonna go in Mr. Emmanuel's ear to see inside the ear. Okay, okay. I don't see no sign of drainage. Um, inside the ear is pearly gray. Um, when I press the ear, when I flip it, it records easily, no problem, okay? 
Um, do you have any any pressure, any pain when I do this? No. No. Okay, Mr. Morales doesn't have any pain in the ear. I'm gonna go down to the neck. I'm gonna check his um, nodule, his gland, thyroid gland. I don't feel this thyroid gland on palpitation. Uh, I see, I'm looking at his neck. I see that um, he doesn't have any um, longevity. He, he doesn't have any, any um, okay. I'm gonna go down to Mr. Emmanuel's chest so I can listen to his lungs. I'm gonna listen to your lungs and you're gonna take a deep breath for me, okay? Take a deep breath. And now, take a deep breath. You turn for me so I can listen to your back. Okay. Take a deep breath. And and out. Take a deep breath. And out. Take a deep breath. And out. Deep breath. And out. Okay. Mr. Emmanuel's lungs are clear. I don't hear no signs of crackles or wheezing upon auscultation. I'm gonna check his epical pulse. The epical pulse is, is found on the left side of the lower chest, uh, between the first and the second intercostal space. So this here is epical heart rate. I'm gonna listen for a full one minute. Mr. Emmanuel Radio Cross was 90. His um, epical pulse is 92. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the assessment. I'm gonna check Mr. Emmanuel's shoulder. They are asymmetrical. I see they are the same size um, when I look at them. I'm gonna check Mr. Emmanuel's skin. Okay, good skin turgor. It records like right away in two seconds. Uh, nice complexion. Um, no, no problem with the skin. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna check my name on your stomach. I'm gonna ask you so if you can lay for me, please, on the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna check his stomach before. I check, I'm gonna inspect. Okay. For the purpose of the video, I have to leave his clothes on. So I'm just inspecting. Okay, so now I'm gonna auscultate. I'm gonna start um, by listening to the bow sound. We're gonna start with the right lower quadrant. I hear the bowel sound, so I don't have to wait a whole five minutes. If I didn't hear any bowel sound, I would have to listen for five minutes. Okay, I hear bowel sound at all four quadrants. Now I'm gonna um, auscultate, I'm gonna palpate uh, Mr. Emmanuel's stomach. You're gonna let me know if you feel any pain, okay? You feel any pain? You feeling any pain? You feeling any pain? Any pain? Okay. Mr. Emmanuel's stomach is nice, non tender, and very um, soft. Um, what was uh, your last bowel movement? Um, earlier today. Okay, Mr. Emmanuel had a bowel movement earlier today, so apparently, you know, he's not constipated. And then as I can see, his stomach is nice and soft, non-tender.
and it doesn't have any pain and I don't feel any mass when I'm palpating the stomach. Okay, all right. I'm gonna look at Mr. Emmanuel's joint. Okay. Do you feel any pain? Do you feel any pain? No. Okay, I'm gonna check your range of motion. Okay, I'm gonna bring your leg up. Do you feel any pain when I do this? No. Okay, we're gonna do the same for the other leg. You feel any pain? Okay, okay, no pain. I'm gonna check the extremity, the upper extremity, the same. Okay, tell me, do you feel any pain? Okay, any pain? pain in the joints and um, Mr. Emmanuel moved his joints very freely. I don't see any sign of swelling, um, any sign of dislocation. Uh, now I'm gonna check Mr. Emmanuel's strength. I'm gonna ask him to squeeze my hand to see how much strength he have in his hand. Squeeze my hand as hard you can. Okay, very strong, very strong, very strong grip. All right, I'm gonna do this with the same for the feet. Mr. Emmanuel, I'm going to ask you to press down on my hand so I can check the strength of your feet, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, press down, okay, press down, press down, all right, very strong, very strong, okay, okay, Mr. Emmanuel, um, now we're done with the assessment, I'm going to leave you in the room so the doctor will come and see you, okay? All right. Okay, thank you so much for your time, all right, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, now I'm done with Mr. Emmanuel's assessment and then he's ready to see the doctor.